Yeah. Students, in our chapter, we are going to discuss the third part. In the third part, what we are going to discuss here, movements in living beings. That is our content. Movements in living beings. Okay. So this is we are going to discuss. What is our content here? Movements. So in the living beings. So here we are going to discuss the movements in living beings. How they move and what the way those organs moving. How to compare moving and non-moving. So how can we say it is living or non-living? Like that we are going to compare all in this content. The previous one we learnt about living, non-living differences. So in that living means plants and animals. When we compare what is the similarities and what is the dissimilarities. Like that plants, animals, human beings if we compare rocks what is the difference we found in that previous one. Then here in the living the movements how are occurs that we are going to discuss movements so here how do the following living beings go from one place to another place so there is a table which is given in our textbook in that some of the organisms names given how do they move one place to another place so we want to fill that table and we have to write their movements so observe the following table discuss in group and write the way the organisms move so here living organisms living organisms or organisms the second one what is given means of motion means of motion how do they move that we are going to write here so this is very clear the table is it appearing to you so if it is not possible to complete the table q i will write and remaining i am going to give the overall way so the first one myself myself what is the meaning of myself myself i am myself so how can i move walk and run walk and run the movements in me i can walk and i can run you also like that okay then the second one we are going to discuss what is the second one what is the second one here house fly house fly you know that fly they can fly with the wings fly with wings fly with wings so we run with the legs we walk with the legs so they can fly like that then argan also i wrote here fly actually house fly flies next what is given here grasshopper next one grasshopper how can they move grasshopper 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 moves by flying fly sometimes grasshopper also walk on the land with the legs next i am going to explain about a frog okay frog how can they move it can walk and jump most of the time jump sometimes walk sometimes walk next what is the next we are going to discuss the next one is a snake if you see the snake how does it move snake scraw scrawing scrawing organ so it is scraw on the land so snakes have the scales by using the scales it scraw on the land scrawl 
next the next one what i am going to discuss here the next one is a bird okay bird fish plant so bird can fly you can write birds also so here i am going to write birds also fly next fishes fish swimming swim in the water it is going to be here swimming swimming in the water last one is a plant what is the last one the last one is plant is it appearing or not i don't know just a little gap is here that is swimming i am going to write here and that is completed already i think next to plants it cannot move can't move can't cannot move which means physically the plant one place to another place it can't move remember that so in the plants also movements are there if you touch touch me not plant it can fold its leaves back so there is a movement is there in that but the total plant cannot move one place to another place there in the plants also movements are there but they cannot move one place to another place they can move the movements can show there it's a where the plant planted so that is the difference between the plants and the animal so here this is the information we are discussing in this content what is given here based on that some of the questions we are going to discuss i think it is clear to you students so still is there any inconveniency just uh, now i think it is clear okay whatever the questions and whatever the content remaining is there that i am going to explain do you have more examples of different kinds of movements in animals so jumping dancing running playing different types of activities we are doing but with our legs and with our hands so with the legs we can run with the hands we can do the activities so animals also they use their legs to walk to run like us list them in your notebook so whatever the movements you observe in a, in your surrounding animals that you want to write in your notebook that is then we see that plants do not move like us we know that plants whatever i said just now plants cannot move like us cannot move like us means here we can move one place to another place plant cannot move one place to another place that is the difference but they show movements in its body we also show movements in its body so now i am showing the movements in my body now i am moving one place to another place so there is a difference is there movements is there so movements in organs in the organism and movement we can see in the organism one place to another place so there do two movements we can two types of we can show here there are some movements in plants for example closing and opening of flowers closing and opening of flowers and discuss in your groups so some flowers close and some flowers opening closing and opening of the flowers even stomata also we discuss so closing and opening of the stomata in the plants that is also one of the example for the movements list out the movements in plants track your discussion in your notebook so you find the movements in plants and you note down in your notebook so where the movements are there so different places different types of movements we can see in the plants so that movements we will learn in higher classes whatever we know the simple example so plants can respond to what to the light that we can observe then plants open and closes the stomata due to the stomata transpiration occur that water vapor we uh, caught in the polythene transparent cover and we observe so due to the stomata opening and closes so we found the water drops in the polythene cover that is also movements in stomata we can say that you say that plants do not move but we find plants of the same type of 
types in different locations how is this possible so what we are saying here we say that plants cannot move but when you see here one plant is there this type of plant we can see another place also so how these plants can grow there also how can they move so what it says the seeds of this plant are the branches of this plants so this baby plant can grow there then they change as a adult plant so that is a question from here to there how do they move that is a question so they can't move somebody may carry one place to another place otherwise so in higher sections means in the seventh class we are going to discuss seed dispersal chapter is there seeds are carrying one place to another place and they drop off from that and they can grow as a individual plant so the here maybe neem plant is there the neem seeds are carried by the animals or human beings and they fall there and there also we can get the neem plant so like that but this plant cannot move there and they won't give birth to the new plant there itself that is a difference so like animals and plants so other than plantation by human beings there are many natural ways of the seed dispersion so that whatever i said that we carry and we keep somewhere human beings sometimes in the natural ways the seeds are light weighted it to spread it flow along with the wind it flow along with the water and it fall other places and it can grow as a individual plant so there is a difference is there that occurs through the natural way that is we are going to learn in the seventh class the seed grow into plant and we feel that plants have moved one place to another place so plant didn't move one place to another place the seeds of that plant may carried by human being or any animal maybe wind maybe water it it flow one place to another place and they can grow as a individual plant there itself that's the difference so remember that plants cannot move plants cannot go to other places they won't give birth to their young ones there itself plants they grow in one place itself those seeds are carried by human beings are by the natural ways it moves one place to another place then they drop up there in the other places then when they get the favorable conditions means air water light then they change as a new plant with that seed then they become a big tree there itself that is the reason so that's what we don't think plants move one place to another place so we will learn more about this in the next class means about the seed dispersal and about the plant growth in different places we will discuss in the seventh class there is a lesson that is a seed dispersal so this is the this this is the conclusion of this video what i am giving here what i said here once again i am giving the short brief once again so here movements in living being so here number of the organisms and their movements we observed some they can walk some they can fly some they can jump some they can scrawl so like that different types of organisms are there these are all living beings even plant also living being but unlike other animals plants cannot move one place to another place so at that time we had a doubt how the same type of plants we can see in our surroundings in different areas so so the plants cannot move to the other place and they want to keep their plants there itself their baby plants so due to the natural way or the due to man made activities seeds are carried one place to another place and they grow there itself as a new plant otherwise in the nature naturally it occurs due to wind due to water uh, due to other animals so it carries to one place to another place that seeds they fall somewhere when they get favorable condition they change as a new plant so that is the reason so that's what a seed dispersal uh, is a cause to grow the different areas the same types of plants so that seed dispersal chapter we will discuss in seventh class so we will learn more about the seed dispersal in the seventh class this is the conclusion of this session next we are going to discuss the immediate another session so that is the fourth session after 10 minutes again you will get the another video continuous all the chapter i am going to give you in this way